Hello and welcome to whatHiFi.com. Today we've got something a little different for you in the shape of this, the Aston Martin Biosound DB9 Volante. In case you're worried you've accidentally logged on to whatcar.com, you haven't. We're interested in this particular car because it's fitted with Bang & Olufsen's optional in-car entertainment system worth £4,650. It's designed specifically for Aston Martin and uses Bang & Olufsen's own ICE power technology, which we'll explain a little later on. So where are all those speakers, you might ask? Well, for starters, a pair of 19mm tweeters on either side of the dashboard rise up majestically when you turn the ignition on. They're designed to disperse high-frequency sound in a 180-degree arc around the car's interior. You'll also find a third tweeter and a single mid-range driver in the middle of the dashboard, plus one 9cm mid-range unit in each door, a 14cm woofer on either side of the centre console, and another tweeter and mid-range unit in each rear quarter panel. Oh, and did we mention the 20cm subwoofer mounted behind the left seat, under the rear bench? Getting all those speakers in the right place was one of the biggest challenges facing Bang & Olufsen's designers. They worked closely with Aston Martin's engineers to get the speakers in the optimum position in the car. Developing in-car audio systems is very different to working with home AV systems, with the interior layout of the car dictating the placement of the speakers. So B&O's engineers worked closely with Aston Martin's own team to make sure the sound performance matched the car's interior. How have they done it? Well, not surprisingly, there's lots of clever technology involved. ICE power allows the designers to deliver high power and hi-fi quality sound from a system that's compact enough to fit inside the confines of a car. There's no hi-fi sweet spot as you'd get in a normal hi-fi system at home. Rather, Bang & Olufsen's engineers have used DSP processing to fine-tune the sound of the system to the interior of the car. Custom-moulded closed cabinet speaker boxes ensure that the same conditions are maintained for each speaker regardless of its position inside the car. If you stick to the standard settings, the system sounds too bass-heavy to our ears, so we turn the bass levels right down to give a more balanced stereo sound. Otherwise, that subwoofer under the rear seat can sound very prominent. You can listen in conventional stereo, or engage the Dolby Pro Logic mode to hear your music in surround sound using the centre and rear speakers. For music, we prefer to stick with stereo, which gives a more natural effect. The other really clever thing about this system is that it automatically adjusts the sound depending on whether the roof is up or down. Those pop-up tweeters certainly give an improved sense of space to the soundstage, regardless of where you sit in the car, but we did find the overall sound quite hard. Given the price of the system, we're surprised DAB isn't included, but the FM tuner works well. Hook up your iPod using the USB cable provided, and your favourite tracks and albums will appear on the small screen in the middle of the dashboard. You can scroll through your favourite tracks and albums using the toggle provided, but it's a bit fiddly, especially when you're driving. With the number of different buttons required to operate the system, we can't help feeling a large touchscreen would be simpler and more intuitive to use. However, drop the roof, pop in your favourite CD, and you'll have little to complain about. This system can certainly go loud, which it needs to if you open the roof and unleash that V12 under the bonnet. So there you have it, the Aston Martin VO Sound DB9 Volante, perhaps the most expensive music system we've ever tested. There'll be a full review here on whatHiFi.com in the next week or two. In the meantime, don't forget to keep checking the site for all the latest news, reviews and videos on whatHiFi.com.